All right, what's going on YouTube? Um, it's been a while. I haven't uh, had anything come in for for a little bit, but um, been busy and uh, a few other things been happening. But uh, I do have this Ass Studios. Yes, Ass A W -S, S, butt, booty, bum, whatever you want to call it. Studios, booty studios here with uh, Obelisk the Tormentor. Um, their impression of him, anyways. It's like a artist impression, I guess. Obviously, it's not the smooth lines and what we're kind of used to with him from the uh, series game, whatever you want to call it. But um, there's a lot of... I'll try and get a, a shot of the portrait there. There's a lot going on with him. Um, I don't quite know what the, the theory or theme or whatever the intention is here with this statue, but... Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's not, it's not terribly done, um, and it's not. Uh, I mean, it's it's an odd size. I don't I have no idea what the scale is. I have no idea what the idea is behind this statue, but they do have a slifer and a the golden one, the winged dragon one. But um, I just put a premium format next to it just to give you an idea of size. So if I put dark side next to him there. Oh, put all this over there, dark side there. So you can see the scale, um, or lack of scale. I don't, I don't have no idea, like dark side is supposed to be one fourth, uh, big character. Um, Obelisk is, uh, you know, whatever the hell he is. So, yeah, I'll just do some close ups. Pretty decent paint. Unusual base, it's just like a block. It does come with this here. Which is a um, it's time to duel metal. Um, it's got a handwritten 44 of 98 pieces made. It's, that's not bad. Yu-Gi-Oh uh, sticker or whatever you want to do with that. It's got like a puff of cloud at the bottom. Um, not very deep. It's not a deep statue. And then this is the backside of, of the Ars Studios obelisk. So again, I have no idea what the idea is behind this statue. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Like I said, I have no idea what scale this is. It's like probably one six maybe, um, or non-scale even, but uh, yeah, reasonably cool statue. I don't mind it. Ask Studios. So it comes in this type box, you know, phone box, full on another language writing, crappy shipper box. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, there you have Ars Studios Obelisk, the Tormentor. Um, I don't mind it, I don't know. You guys sort of tell me what you think in the comments. Um, it wasn't expensive, it's not as expensive as a normal premium format, of course. But um, yeah, you colors are good. You know, there's not much to it, but the sculpt and the paint. Um, some very breakable bits up the top there. Heavy, it's pretty reasonably heavy. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty good for the price. Like it's not a, like I said, it's not not a thousand dollars like a premium format. You know, it's probably five hundred, six hundred dollars that type of thing. Aussie, Australian dollars. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd give it a go. I don't mind it, but probably won't go ahead with the other three. But see how things go. But. Uh, 
yeah let me know in the comments curious to see what you guys think about this statue if it's any good or or not i think if it was bigger it'd be pretty cool but um yeah very good attempt i guess um yeah not sure what to do with this now <laughs> all right thank you all for watching